the reason that I, I'm interested in speaking at this uh, conference and symposium is based on my um, passion for nutrition and uh, preventive options in terms of disease. And I've spent a good part of my life um, training in and using nutrition, um, as well as looking at other elements of what's involved in why disease happen. And of course, what can we do about it? So it's really a, a, about that underlying, um, if you like, passion. And at the same time, I'm always searching for answers. So I keep a huge database, which I I update every day. That's my nerdish aspect that comes in, and I, I do that for an hour or two most days. Um, so that uh, keeps me relatively up to date with what's going on, and I hope I can um, share some of those um, ideas and uh, potential ways that we can go about both preventing and treating and supporting people with various diseases. Um, the ones I'm going to concentrate on at the symposium will be cancer and two of the neurodegenerative diseases, that's um, uh, dementia and Parkinson's disease. I think in terms of omega-3 and, and the various components of omega-3, omega-6, omega-9 for health, there is a lot um, of information out there. And it's how do you bring that together in a way that makes good sense and at the same time is something that uh, you can do with your patients or clients um, in a way that's going to be really supportive, but not necessarily um, get the reaction that you don't want. Um, we tend to understand that a lot of the modern fast food diet tends to be omega-6 predominant, and uh, particularly the more carnivorous ones. And to some extent, that can lead to various diseases um, over time, and I'll be talking about those and also to look at sources of food and ways of improving that omega-3, omega-6 balance. Um, there are controversies, of course, and so we'll have to look into those a wee bit and get a handle on them as best as possible, um, because it's not just a simple formula of one-to-one, two-to-one. They sound nice, but they're not that straightforward. And part of it is about the actual nutrients that are involved with making those ratios and how to get the best ones possible, for instance, we all know that trans fatty acids, uh, sorry, trans fatty acids um, have their own potential problems and probably are quite important, particularly with the fast food environment, in causing various diseases, including possibly neurological ones. <laughs> 